Hey folks, just want to do a quick video on the markets today. Bitcoin continues to pump up 17%. Why? Why is Bitcoin pumping? Everything else is dumping. The stocks are dumping. Everything's dumping. Well, all the, the sanctions in Russia, the ruble in Russia is basically down 50%. So basically, everybody in Russia is putting all their money into Bitcoin. Why are they putting their money into Bitcoin? Because Bitcoin is a safe haven. Nobody can take it from you. If you put your Bitcoin in a, in a, uh, a private wallet and you have the passcodes, it's yours. The government can't seize it from you. Your neighbor can't seize it. The military can't seize it. So basically, with all these sanctions in Russia, we're shutting down uh, people's banks, bank accounts. We're not letting people transact. The ruble is down in value. We're going after these rich uh, Russian businessmen who... Uh, who have ties to Putin, they're all putting their money in Bitcoin because they're afraid all their money and bank accounts are going to be seized. So Bitcoin is pumping. This is what Bitcoin was created to do. It was created to save your money from the government. If the government wants to come after you, they can. With Bitcoin, they can't take your money. If your money is in the bank, they can shut it down. They can freeze it. We've seen this in Canada. We are now seeing this in Russia. And the problem is, Going after these Russian businessmen and trying to shut down their bank accounts is going to affect a lot of innocent people too. What if you're just some Russian dude who just has a lot of money in Russia? Now you're going to get mixed up in all this. And because the government has a problem with Putin, they're going to lump you in with Putin. And now your money is going to be freezed and shut down. So that's why censorship and taking people's money and, and, um, and freezing people's bank accounts is kind of a bad idea. Because what happens if, for example, I'm an American, uh, Biden does something stupid and Europe decides, hey, we don't want uh, American, Americans' money anymore because Biden did something stupid. So now people who are American can't spend their money. Highly unlikely as an American, but what if you're in some small country, like, you know, some small country in Europe or some African country and we get pissed off at their government and we decide to shut down uh, their currency? Because basically you can do that and shut down their banking. So that's why I'm kind of against all this censorship, even though I understand why they're trying to do it against Putin. A lot of innocent people are going to be affected, and that's why everybody's putting their money into Bitcoin. And just regular citizens are putting, putting their money into Bitcoin in Russia because the ruble was getting devalued by like 50%. They figured, hey, Bitcoin can pump or dump 30% in a day, but this ruble might be worth nothing in two weeks. So uh, they're putting their money in Bitcoin. This is what Bitcoin was designed to do. So it's just weird because all, all the other markets are, are dumping and Bitcoin is surging, which is really cool to see. Markets looking really good. We got Bitcoin at 43,000. It was about 44,000 a few hours ago. Um, most coins are pumping, but Bitcoin is basically the big pumper. People are buying Bitcoin. So what do we hope to see? We hope to see Bitcoin probably pump up to 45, $46,000. We're gonna get a rejection. We'll probably get a rejection down to like 43, 42. We want to see a rise up from that rejection. We want to see Bitcoin get rejected and rise back up to 45, $46,000. Once that happens and it hangs out in that area for a couple of weeks, hopefully we'll see altcoins start to run. Right now, altcoins really aren't running. I mean, yeah, they're up for sure, but they're not doing what Bitcoin's doing. We want to see an altcoin run where these altcoins go up 20, 30%. You know, we want to see Cardano well over a dollar, back up to like a buck forty. Solana back up to a buck, you know, one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, Binance Coin uh, back above five hundred dollars. Uh, Terra has basically been pumping, you know. Anyway, so you know they're kind of in a league of their own. But we're not going to see that until people feel comfortable in Bitcoin, and then they're going to put their money in bought in, in altcoins. Bitcoin pumps first, then the altcoins pump. Um, let's check out check out the. Um, the metaverse plays really quick. Yep, all the metaverse the metaverse coins are actually up really, really well. Meta, metaverse coins being more risky, they pump and dump really, really big. Um, I was fortunate fortunate enough to get my Vulcan Forge at like eight fifty. Oh, we're back up to twelve dollars. Very, very nice. That's why you gotta buy these metaverse coins when they pump. I mean, I wish I actually bought more, but whatever. I'm happy with I'm happy with what I've got. So yeah, folks, that's pretty much what's going on. Hopefully, um, we, we, you know, we can hover around $45,000, $46,000, and then the altcoins can really go on a tear. What happens after that? I don't know. We could also just see a rejection right now, and Bitcoin goes back into like the $38,000, $39,000, and the altcoins all dump hard. So for me, what I'm going to do is 
If Bitcoin does a dump back down to $42,000, I'm going to buy some more altcoins and I'm going to set stop losses. And um, it's like a 50-50 shot. If we get a rejection back down to 42, we're either going to shoot back up to 45, 46, or we're going to dump right back down into the 30s. And I have no freaking idea what's going to happen. So I have plenty of crypto. So I'm willing to take a trade um, or take a little bit of risk if we do get that rejection because we're due for a rejection right now. We're not going to go up forever. So let's get that rejection, get Bitcoin to dump like $2,000 and get people scared. That's when I'm going to go in and start buying some more coins and um, we'll see what happens. But this is really interesting. Bitcoin being used for what it's been meant to be used for. No longer is a speculation. Now Bitcoin is being used as a safe haven to get away from tyrannical governments and just bank banks trying to shut down your accounts. So pretty cool stuff. Right now, most of the money's going into Bitcoin. Hopefully, um, we see an altcoin run after this Bitcoin run. But there's no guarantees. We could get, like I said, we could get a rejection right back into the 30s, you know, pretty damn soon. So we'll see what happens. All right, that's all I got.